This video is to help you with the most common problem with iMovie. iMovie is a totally awesome app that is found on both the iPad and the Mac. They both work pretty similar, um, but students often come to me with a very similar problem. They say to me, Mr. Lewis, I've got this awesome movie. Can I show it to you? And I'm like, yeah, show it to me. And then they tell me that when they send it to someone, it doesn't work on their iPad. This problem is very common, and it's actually quite complicated to explain. I'm gonna use this photo of a project to help me explain it. Now, when you're working in iMovie, this is your project pane. All the clips and videos that you've filmed and put in there go in there. All the sound recordings that you make go in there. You might put a soundtrack of some music to go behind it all and some sound effects as well. Now while it looks like you've made yourself a movie, you actually haven't. You've made yourself a movie project. And that means that all of these videos aren't actually in your movie yet. They're all over in your iPad storage where they were originally. Now, this also goes for your sound recording, the sound effects, and this soundtrack. All of these things are saved in separate areas of your iPad. But what's happening is iMovie saying, all right, here's a video that I took. I just want to use that section of the video and I want it to go at the start of my film. And then here's this other video and I just want that section of the video and I want that to go here. Now, here is a long soundtrack and it goes for like five minutes long but you only want three minutes of it. So you say, just this section of the soundtrack, I want it put down here. And I want them to all play at the same time. Now this is where iMovie is really clever because in here, it will pull all of those things from different places in your iPad or on your computer and put them in a temporary sort of preview showing you what your movie will make when you eventually choose to publish it to a movie file. Here's a movie of my cat. And to publish it to a movie file, I'm gonna hit the share button. Select save video. Select the quality of my final movie file. And then wait for my movie to export. When that white line fills up, that means that my movie has been created and what it's doing while that white line is being is moving across there is it's actually pulling all those little sections of the clips and it's putting them together to make a one brand new movie file. And when it's all done, your movie will have been published to your photo library where you can find your actual movie that you can share and everyone can view. There's my video of my cat in my video section of the Photos app in my iPad. And hopefully this helps you with what I've found to be the most common problem with iMovie.